Uh, I'm Gerd. I'm Gerd Lupit from Germany. Uh, I'm located in a small uh, village in the Moselle River. Yeah. Mandibular space closure, I would say. I mean, normally we have in mind like anterior open bite cases, things like that, or like uh, progressive condylar resorption, all the, the, the really heavy things. But on the other hand, when, when we treat uh, anterior open bite, we know that every fourth um, case we do relapse. I think the most difficult cases are so we do not expect that it's difficult. And, and in the era of having tats and mini screws, it, it, it looked so easy to protract lower molars. I, I feel it's it's so difficult and you have so many factors contributing to success, failure of the implant, biomechanics, double cable, biology. Um, also, I would say even some very simple case running into your office and class one, everything is fine, just mild crowding. And then you over the maybe the patient has a certain pathology, pathology or psychological problems or occlusal disease. I think the unexpected things are the most difficult. Everything which is super obvious, like bimaxillary surgery or a, a, a malocclusion which has a high percentage of relapse, it's easier because you are more sensitive. I mean, yeah.